All right, guys. So every year we try to travel in the spring and go on some turkey hunts. This year we went to Kansas and Nebraska. We had some great time, great experience. The hunts wasn't that good, but it had been storms the whole time we were there. There was tornadoes in Nebraska while we was in Kansas and actually tornado warnings in Kansas while we were there. So the weather kind of hurt us a little bit, but we still had a great time. So in this video coming up, it'll be our Nebraska hunt, which was actually after the Kansas hunt. I'll be putting a Kansas hunt out later, but I just wanted to get this Nebraska hunt out first. So I hope y'all enjoy and we'll get right into the video. Living down south where the warm winds blow, my old dog and my fishing pole. Down where clover and the wildflowers grow. I love country, yes I do When it comes from your heart, you know it's true Where the sun shines every day through skies of blue I love country, hope you see There ain't no place I'd rather be Than on the mountain top, high up in a tree I just heard him gobble Just over that hill. So we got to Nebraska early enough that that first evening, the guy took us out, drove us around, kind of showed us the property. And then he was like, hey, if y'all want to, get your camouflage on, get ready, y'all can go out and hunt this evening. So we got ready, got in the car, drove down there to her hunting spot. And just as soon as we started to get out of the car, we heard turkeys gobbling. So we took off over there to him, trying to kind of look at her own ex, see where he was at and got set up on him. We never could get him to come in. He sounded like he got 
just right out of sight from us, but he never would come in. So he quit gobbling. We couldn't get him to answer no more. We moved around a little bit trying to see if we could get back on him or find some more. We didn't know where he went. We got up on a ridge, seen some deer off through there, kind of sat around for a little bit, and then we heard some gobble, and I got my binoculars out and spotted them out across the ridge. So we made a move on them, got up over there, and then they went around below us to go to roost. And so you'll see us kind of just trying to spot them. Maybe, hopefully get to where I shoot at them. But I'm just trying to get a spot on them. See where they're going to roost at. So after we watched them go to roost, we went back to the camp, got up the next morning, and went and tried to get around where we thought we'd heard them. Well, we heard a bird this morning. It got pretty daylight, and we never heard anything. We thought it would have gobbled a lot sooner than that, so we started up in the creek bottom. 
where we thought he was at, and we actually got a little past him. We were between two groups of turkeys, but we never heard them fly down. We don't know where they went, so we're trying to move around and get around on them now. Uh, I ain't really got these turkeys figured out yet on what they're doing, but if we don't get them on this on them this morning, I think we got a good game plan for this evening. So after that morning, you know, we didn't get on them. So we was kind of trying to walk around, look and see if we could find any, hear any, get on them. We were standing up on this ridge looking at our own eggs, trying to game plan, trying to just see if we could see something that looked like where they'd want to be. And while we were up there, we heard one gobble and got to looking for him. And I actually found him with my binoculars. And I'll show this clip of where we're standing at again and try to put a dot on the screen of where he was at. But he was 800 yards away, roughly. I don't remember exactly how much it was. But he was across that little valley on that next ridge in the middle of the alfalfa field. So we seen him going across, so we decided to try to cut him off, go down there, and get in between him and where he was going. Some turkeys gobbling across this wide open valley. A crazy crawl down there. We're trying to see if he can see them. It sounds to me like they're going away from us. You'll hear them one time, I think they're getting closer. They're going by their way. I didn't see nothing. I don't know. You could hear them, couldn't you? You could hear 
him gobble when you got her. <laughs> Did you hear him gobble two or three times? I never heard him. Even when I called, I never heard him. Hey, on, on X, if you go right down there, it looks like it thins up. You know, I don't know how, how updated this version is, so. But we're sitting right past that draw we was in. That's the only draw going up. So we got down there and we didn't get completely in between him and where he'd come out of those trees out. We got pretty close. We called to him, he'd gobble, but he wasn't coming to us. He was just gobbling, walking away. And there were several jakes in the area and I think they was kind of just whooping up on him and he wasn't staying. But we heard those jakes gobbling, so we got into those thick kind of pines and trying to get on them. And I'd crawl down there at the edge to see if I could see them. And I couldn't see them. Dad could hear them gobbling, so we tried to move up on them, and when we got to where we could see them, they were just going across this wide open hill, going over this top. So, we never wound up seeing them anymore. Uh, we went to a little different spot that evening, didn't really see anything, and then the next morning uh, we'll be coming up. So we got set up on those turkeys we could see, but we never really did like the setup. We just couldn't see. They had had to walk right up in our lap. I mean, right in our lap before we'd have been able to see them. They wasn't really gobbling. There was turkeys behind us gobbling their heads off. So finally we couldn't take it anymore. We was like, well, let's just move on them. And so we packed up our stuff and went backwards and got up on top of that ridge where we was listening at them gobble. We never could see them. We think they was farther off the property we got up there to the line but then when we turned and looked across where we was at in that bottom back across that ridge we seen some in the alfalfa field over there probably the ones that we'd seen roosted and I think at some point in there dad kind of explains what went on while we was down there
I threw more in Stratton than the first set. So there's at least one. So. I don't know if you can see them on here. They're plumb up past the corner of that. Let me see if I can point at them. I can get my hand out there far enough. It ain't going to focus, but they're... You might can see them in here. I think I can see the dots out in the dark alfalfa past that cross brace up in the corner pose. And that zoomed as far as it'll zoom. The problem is we were sitting right in there. Had our decoys between those cedar trees and that clump out in the field. And we were sitting in those trees listening to all these birds gobble. But you can't get to them because wherever they're heading, you can't turn them around. I can't turn them around. I ain't that good a turkey gobbler. These birds right here was the closest birds gobbling. They were all the way across over there. And those trees, and there's a fence row right there, that's the line. So they're not even close to us. There were birds gobbling up in there that we could hunt. The problem is when they hit the ground, wherever they're headed, that's where they're going. Only thing I know to do is try to get in front of them. And when they leave, they cover some ground. We just watched them birds right there go across 40 acres while we were standing here. So that evening we went to a different piece of property again and then it was the same crazy thing we got out of the vehicle heard one goblin walked over to the edge of a ridge and could see him coming way out through there Can you still see him? He's in that little gob. Come around that yep. cedar tree. I can see him around the cedar tree now. I see that quick gob when I can go.
there. So we scooted down as close as we could get. He was way across the property line. We scooted down there, probably 100, 150 yards from the line. Was hoping we could call him across. He got down there in the bottom, across the line. Never would come up there to us. We had a hen come by us, but we couldn't ever get him to come in. All right, guys. So we were kind of making a loop on a property this morning. It was, uh, it rained a lot last night, and we got a renter vehicle with street tires on it. And it was so muddy in the roads where he was about to get stuck in the middle of the road. And uh, her guide has made it very clear that he is not going to do rescue services. So even if we get stuck in the middle of the road, he's not coming to get us. So we've kind of just been walking around on a piece of property we hadn't really been on. Because it's the only one we could get to. And we've seen some way across these hollers in this field. And we tried to get to them. And we can't hardly make it to them. Uh, so we're kind of just sitting here looking at them right now trying to figure out what we want to do. We can't hardly get to them because of the property line. So, I don't know if we'll be able to back up and call them over here to this property or what we're gonna do, but we're kinda just sitting here resting and trying to think of a game plan right now. So that last evening, we went to that very first spot where we know they'd been going to those alfalfa fields. We spotted them in the alfalfa fields, get over there fairly close, got the decoys put out, and there was actually a hawk flying around messing with them. They was laid down in the alfalfa fields for forever. I don't know, probably 20 minutes or something like that with just their heads poked up. And then they finally got up and kind of just fed off. They never would come to our decoys or nothing. So we didn't get it done in Nebraska, but I appreciate y'all guys watching anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I didn't have the best footage, but I mean, that's just what happens with hunting sometimes. You can't, you know, you can't help the weather and, and different stuff like that. So I tried to make the best video I could out of it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all guys watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. I love country, hope you see. There ain't no place I'd rather be than on the mountaintop, high up in a tree.